So here we are at World Water Week in the Water Cube. And if you tell us who you are. I'm Alain Vidal, and I'm the director of the challenge program on water and food of the CGIAR. Okay. And we're also here with. Tuppy McIntosh, I'm the communications person for okay, CPWF. And that doesn't really have my name spelled right, so I'll just show you my last yeah. name. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tuppy is my first name. Okay. So uh, you're here at World Water Week and um, very curious what you're seeing this time in Stockholm. Yeah, some changes compared to the past years. Uh, it's probably my sixth or seventh time here during the last 12 years. Um, with the, the feeling that it's broader than before, I see more people from different horizons coming in. Uh, more consideration for yeah uh, water for food uh, water for environment uh, broad concepts that link together the different sectors and uh, which are now broader than a few years ago the, the the topic was very much about integrated water resource management we're now looking at more uh, encompassing concepts like resilience, like blue and green water, and trying to make this resource used uh, productive for people. I think that's that's a change. That's an evolution which which I I personally really appreciate. Are they bringing a, a different energy or an attitude to the sector? Probably different attitude in the way that people. People listen to each other more than before. Uh, I was yesterday in a session where uh, there was someone from the uh, urban water sector, uh, surrounded mostly by people from the uh, agricultural water sector, and these people actually talked together, which was which was a bit new, sharing similar concepts, uh, sometimes not really understanding each other but but discussing about it and, and understanding better uh -huh. so they're they're crossing the divide if you will they're seeing how they can work together they see well if or that if not to working together uh, at least realizing that we can't address two days and moreover tomorrow's water issues without uh, taking into account uh, different issues. Uh, when I was here 10 years ago, it was very much about uh, water supply and sanitation. We had these Millennium Development Goals and, and the, the main motto was that we should provide sanitation and, and, and good quality drink water to all the people. Mm -hmm. Now people are realizing, for example, that uh, well, there is, a, there is a food crisis, which, which was exemplified last year by the uh, in, in several countries uh, now people have forgotten a little bit about it because there has been the financial crisis but this food crisis really emphasized the the need to take into account the, the water which is needed to produce food mm -hmm. and that uh, well we have to double food production and at the same time we can't use more water for agriculture and for food production so we, we even have to decrease the water we use so so that's a key challenge that even now people working on water supply and sanitation have in mind. I mean, they cannot omit it in, in what they think and, and the decision they're making. So it, are you feeling more or optimistic? Um, well, I'm probably an optimist by nature, so... <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can m measure an, an improvement or increase <laughs> of my optimism. Uh, more optimistic in the way that uh, when I look at all the money which is invested in, in infrastructures, in research, in development, um, if people are more aware of what the other water users are needing, uh, mm -hmm. they will be smarter in the decision they will make and the investment they will make. Thank you for speaking with us. Thank you.